आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज चैताली बाग चीफ ऑफ ब्यूरो विद एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स कवरिंग लाइव फ्रॉम जेफिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एट एथ ग्रीस एंड आई एम स्टैंडिंग एट हॉल नंबर फोर ऑफ मेट्रोपोलिटन एक्सपो डेफिया वे डेफिया इज बींग हेल्प इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्टार्टिंग डिस्प्ले ऑफ एन हेलीकॉप्टर ऑफ कॉप्टर ऑफ यू एस आर्मी एंड आई एम स्टैंडिंग विद यू एस आर्मी ऑफिशियल हिमसेल्फ सो वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम एंड स्पीकिंग टू अस No problem. Hello, I'm uh, Chief Warrant Officer Tu Bush. Uh, we, I'm from the First Two Fourteenth Alpha Company. Uh, we are stationed out of Germany, and uh, the Greek government requested us for us to fly our aircraft down here for Defia um, to ensure that we display our aircraft. Um, obviously, it's a UH-60 Mike helicopter. It's a Black Hawk. Um, max weight of the aircraft is 10,000 kilo. Max load of the aircraft 3,500 uh, kilo underneath it. and we can fly approximately 110 knots uh for 5 hours. It's a fantastic airframe. It's been battle tested and it's a long time running army helicopter. Very 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 distinctive. You everybody knows what a Black Hawk is. Um I've been a pilot for approximately 4 years in my career. I'm currently the pilot in command of this aircraft. I'm not the unit commander, but I'm uh the pilot commander, which is uh interesting to explain. Um We fly our current mission set or air assault operations, VIP movement operations, troop tran- transport, cargo transport. We also do firefighting. Uh we do rescue as well. And then our sister ships in Grafenbier, Germany are the Medevac platform. Uh I've been in Germany for two and a half years. Um and then I'm about to leave uh my next duty station is Hawaii. I'm actually excited about that. <laughs> um Yeah. And do you have any questions ma'am? Yeah, so yep. Leo, uh, is it the first time this aircraft is coming to Mediterranean region to Greece? I don't do not believe so, not the Black Hawk itself. Currently, I do believe the Greeks already have our Sea Hawk. Um they're trying to acquire some as for my knowledge, they're trying to acquire some of our Army Black Hawks. Um and they've been here. They were here 2 years ago for a static display. I believe Apaches were here as well and yeah. the they already have Apaches in there. In 2021 Apache yep. was here. Yep. So um Uh we don't do TDY too much to the Mediterranean but it was requested of us so here we are uh, with our allied partners. Okay. Yeah. So there was a special reason why this time this aircraft is here in the Defia. Uh, not for my knowledge as a pilot in command for yeah. my, my obviously my leaders decide mm-hmm. decisions above me but um I believe it's just for the trade show and it was requested for a Black Hawk to come due to it being a highlight item. Right. Now you are a pl- pilot for this Black Hawk. Yes. So your uh, specifications your interest in this aircraft and the region that you're flying is is very different from uh, let's say uh, the leaders isn't yes, it yeah. now tell me uh, you what is what is your opinion how you feel, uh, why you feel uh, this kind of aircraft will be useful in this mediterranean so, region so uh, obviously the us is a nato member and i do believe that we are here for joint interoperability is mm-hmm. what we call it it makes uh, a lot it all a lot easier for the army a lot easier for the US if everybody kind of has the same equipment we can talk on the same terminology obviously we're very close friends we're good friends um so for our greek partners to actually have that and have the same ex- same exact specifications as us is is a plus for everybody we have combat power across the entire region um and it kind of it stabilizes everything every communication between the forces and you, there are friends like you like that yeah Okay, now uh, Leo, something like uh, Defia and Greece. Uh-huh. Greece is currently in the middle of the, it's it's eye in when it comes for the Mediterranean defense, the Mediterranean military needs. Your opinion about it? I mean, uh, as as an army pilot, what what uh, do you feel about this region? What what kind of opinion you hold about this region so when it comes to defense and military? Yeah, so I don't have too much of an opinion uh, on the Greek military other than like we have a great relationship. I mm-hmm. would like to continue that. I love the culture. We all love the food, obviously. Um, uh, hopefully, our counterparts do come uh, speak to us quite a bit. Um, they have. If they have any questions whatsoever for me as an army pilot, come talk to me. Absolutely. Right. Um, I would love to make friends in that region. That's why we're here. Continuing from there, uh, Leo. Uh, after you came here, did you have any interactions with um, any of the officials or the yeah, military so people from Greece? Yeah, uh, so we we have had a bunch of delegates, obviously there, mm-hmm. the Defia, right there. Uh, uh, the ambassador, the I believe the secretary of acquisitions mm-hmm. was here. Mm-hmm. The director of army aviation has been mm-hmm. here, and they've been just asking us normal questions about the aircraft, aircraft specifications. We are 
obviously the pilots are kind of technical experts, so they're more than welcome to come talk to me, um, and I will give them as much information as possible, right? There's hardly anything, everything's been classified on the Black Hawk. Uh, yeah, so, so you are the right person to tell us yeah, about the specification of the yeah, aircraft. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would really request you to do the same for us. Yeah, I love, I love our aircraft just for the audience. Um, of course. <laughs> so it's a, it's a utility helicopter. Its main missions are air assault in the Army. You can, in the Air Force, it's combat search and rescue. You can do a medevac platform, firefighting platform. It's a great, when we're in the United States and it's a civil platform, we use it for life flight, medevac, air rescue, water rescue, a bunch of stuff. It's a great battle-tested airframe. Uh, it's been in service since, uh, I believe, the late 60s, early 70s during the design and process of it. And the Army has been using it ever since as a replacement to the Huey. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful helicopter. I'm in love with my helicopter because I'm a pilot, obviously. Um, I normally cruise around 120 miles an hour and I can fly for five hours as two General Electric engines. Um, they have 1,800 horsepower per engine, five transmissions, four rotor blades. The ceiling of the aircraft is uh, 20,000 feet, um, but we normally go up to 10,000 because we don't have any oxygen systems. Uh, you can get oxygen systems in the aircraft, just the Army doesn't use them personally. Um, as you can see on the inside of the helicopter, it has 11 seats for uh, passengers. That's 11 combat loaded troops in the current configuration. That's quite um, big, yeah. And four crew members, if you would like to get a shot of the beautiful helmet, that is the helmet of a crew member. It's a part of our life support equipment. Um, um, what are the special features of this helmet? The special features of the helmet, it has a visor, it's Kevlar, it's lightweight, and it protects our head in case of a crash. Um, it's, a, it's an expensive helmet, obviously, for an aviation crew member. Also, it has our night vision capabilities whenever we can mount our night vision goggles out on it. Obviously, we're the Army. We fly at night. That's what we're good at. Um, additionally, underneath, uh, you can do a cargo hook configuration and carry 3,500 kilo uh, max load, which is a lot hung, uh, hung from the aircraft. Pilot stations, we can go up front and we'll show you pilot stations. This is the 12th Cap, that's the uh, 12th Combat Aviation Brigade out of Germany, um, and that is my parent unit. This is uh, going to be a pilot station. This is what the pilot helmet looks like. Mm -hmm. It's the same as the crew helmet, and uh, it's pretty simple to fly, in my opinion. That's a side click. So that'll give you turning of the aircraft. The pedals turn the tail, and the other lever is the up and down lever, is the best way to explain it. Um, very simple. Uh, navigation is all digital cockpit. It has a fully automated flight control system mm -hmm. so you can couple up and the machine can fly for you. Um, obviously, right. it's better for the pilot to fly and it assists us. Um, that's about it. I don't think there's too much other than, than that. It's a beautiful helicopter. If you guys yeah. have any questions, type them up and right. uh, send them to me. And of course. The Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Leo. It was uh, great to talk to you and know about the um, know about the Black Hawk here. And uh, we really um, wish and hope next these three days great for you when you have a lot of interactions with that. Thank you so much. Thank you.